Hi, my name is Dr. Jay, and today I'm going to tell you how to be invincible. Like that. How to become invincible. Do you know the meaning of invincible? No. You don't want to? No? That means you're going to have no fear. You can do anything you want. Está bien. Está listo. Tranquilo. All right, let's start. What I'm going to tell you today will blow your mind. That's right. But it will also change your life for the better. I'm going to explain how life really works so you can master it. How to overcome your fears and really become superhuman. So, that's right. So let's begin. All right, so put your stuff down, relax. Put all your stuff down, relax. Take a deep breath. Pay close attention. All right, hear me out. What I'm going to tell you is going to sound different from what you've heard before, but keep an open mind, all right? If you want to change your life, you came to the right place. All right, who you are, or who you think you are, is not who you really are. That's right. The life you're living and the person you are is not who you really are. I'm going to tell you the secrets of life so you can overcome all your obstacles. No matter what your problem is, you can overcome it. All right? Now, understand this. Your behavior, your mindset, you know how you think? They were all programmed. That means they were taught by someone else. You know what I'm saying? You understand me? Okay. This is behavior you learn from someone else. Could be a parent, could be a guardian, usually a caregiver. You understand what I'm saying, right? All right. These qualities are like software on your computer. They run in the background on a subconscious level. That means you're not aware that they exist. Yet, they influence every decision you make. Now, you may think you're in control, but you're really not. Someone else is in control. Let me give you an example. How many of you have difficulty learning math or English? Okay? What about bike riding or swimming? You all know how to ride bikes? Okay, same thing for swimming. Now, your, your first experience was unpleasant. Guess what? It's going to leave a bad face in your mouth. Now, let me give you an example. Can you come up here for a minute, man? So, you're standing right there. So, 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 so let's say you want to learn how to ride a bike, right? So you've never ridden a bike before. Guess what parents usually do? Oh, come on, let me show you how to ride a bike. Then they go, <laughs> then, then they'll go, then they'll go, right? And then they'll go, oh, no, 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 not like that. You're doing it all wrong. Oh, come on. What's wrong with you? You're not going to get it. You're never going to learn how to ride a bike. Guess what that experience just did to you? You don't want to try, right? Same thing applies to most things I think. Thank you. So, that's what negative programming does to you. So, a lot of people will grow up thinking, oh, I just don't like bikes. That's not true. It's the bad experience that made you not like bikes. The same thing applies for math. And science, someone put these ideas in your head. Look back and think about it, and you'll find out who it is. All right? So 
the, the point of this is to overcome your obstacles. Okay? Now, for example, in this demographic, a large percentage of the students will graduate. Now, the reason they won't graduate is not because they have a learning disability. It's because someone told them you're not smart enough. Someone told them, maybe in anger, they're like, oh, you're never going to graduate. You're not going to be anything. You've heard that before, right? That kind of talk? So, what you have to do is understand that this is just an opinion of someone else. You have to transcend your program. Okay? So, really look at why you don't want to do something. Whatever it is. It could be swimming. It could be, do you know most, do you know that all babies are born knowing how to swim? So why do millions of kids drown? Because you're programmed. They tell you as soon as you go there, no, 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 don't go there. No, 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 you're going to drown. You get what I'm saying? So transcend your programming, okay? And uh, really look at why, you know, why you hate math. There's a question over here. Give me one second. Learn to discern between good and bad. Don't let people who are negative influence the way you think. What you've been told about yourself is not real. You're so much more, you have to learn to believe in yourself. That's the most important thing you can do. I want to just let you know, you can do anything you want. I'm living proof of it. You are intelligent, you are limitless. Say it. I am intelligent. I am, intelligent. I am limitless. I'm limitless. Say it again. I am intelligent. I am limitless. Come on, say it like you mean it. show you what you're capable of doing. Alright, this is a board, okay, I think it's a trick board, but the nice teacher here will stand on it, because she has faith, she'll stand on it and see that it won't break. So it's real, right? Okay, it's a real board. Alright. Pay close attention. Pay close attention. Pay close attention. Sit back. Everybody sit down. Sit down. Relax. Do not touch the table. Do not touch the table. Guys, calm down. <laughs> no, no, I appreciate you though. You guys what? It's all mind over matter. Can you bring the table? Yes, you can. All right? So, guys, all right, so that, so that. It's time to wake up. Okay. Bring it back. It's time to wake up. I'm going to tell you the secrets. I'm going to tell you your secrets of life so you can master it. All right? Pay attention. If you're talking and I have to take the time to quiet you down, guess what? I'm not going to be able to cover all the material. All right? All right, let's go. As I said, the life you're living is not your own. That means you can change your life. Don't ever let anyone tell you that this is your life, this, this is what you're destined for, that's not true. You can change your life. Now, living a life of violence and poverty is not reality. Listen to me. Poverty is a state of mind. You know what that means? 
Poverty and violence are learned behavior. That means someone taught you this way of thinking. Okay? And it's disempowering to your life and it's disempowering to your person. So it's time to purge yourself of this kind of thinking. Now, how many of you know about Windows 8? Do you know Windows 8 and Windows 10? No, you don't know what <laughs> Let's skip that analogy then. All right, so what I'm trying to tell you is that a lot of you may be in situations or environments where you're being told negative things, right? What are some of the negative things you're told at home? Go ahead. Like a criticism, like, like you're no good, or you're bad, or you're you're a bad person, right? Or you're worthless, or things like that. Huh? Yeah, things like that. You know, whatever. The, the point I'm trying to make is that they're telling you negative things, and I want you to know that you are not that person. Okay? So, what you have to do is learn to transcend. That means... You have to overcome this negative programming. Just because someone tells you you're worthless or you're, you know, you're, you're not smart, don't believe them. Believe in yourself. When I was growing up and when I was in high school, a teacher told me that, hey, you know what? You're not going to be a doctor. There's no way. So I didn't let that bother me. There's a lot of negative people in this world who think that you can do something. I just showed you that you can do anything you want. It's just a matter of mind. You have to program yourself. I know you think you're kids, but guess what? You're going to have to grow up really fast. You want to live in this environment? You're going to have to change the way you think. You guys have a lot of issues with bullying? In school? No. No? Um, fights? Fights? <laughs> fights. <laughs> no, say the least. I guess this is the perfect school then, right? No. You're not fights in this high school? What? There's no fights in this high school? No, there is fights. No, there is fights. Go to the cafeteria. There's fights. Go to the cafeteria. You're going to see the fights. Stay the beach. Stay the beach. It's all good. But it's it might be like more individual, right. like... So, let me just like talk a little about anger management and how to handle situations. For example, if... Can you come up here? <laughs> so, if someone's walking in the hall and she accidentally stepped on my shoe. You know, I'm not going to start, you can stand over there. That was just for a minute. <laughs> I just need to dirty my shoe. Thanks. So... I can look at it like, oh my god, look, my shoe is dirty. It's the end of the world. I'm going to die. Stop being a drama queen, all right? Enough. All you need to do is this. Look. Oh my, look, it's good as new. Well, what if she's well creeps in my shoe? Right? Doesn't matter. It's not going to kill you. You don't look at, you don't look at life. You don't look at life and say, you know, oh my God, it's raining. You know, it's horrible. Same thing with dirty shoes. It's just dirt on your shirt. Don't take things so personally. All right? Stop getting angry. Because your anger is really stemming from something else. Okay? We're going to tell you, we're going to talk about that in a minute. So, what I'm going to tell you is that you need to change your outlook on life. You know what that means? Yeah. The way you look at things. you got to look at it from a positive point of view. Now, I know a lot of kids are facing difficult situations at home. There's abuse, and there's violence, or, I mean, beat down, right? No? Nobody gets beat down here? Wow, that's amazing. <laughs> okay, so... So what you want to do is, if you have a person who is bullying you, or, or 
maybe picking fights with you. What would you do in that situation? What would you do? I'm sorry? Are you asking me? Tell him not to? No, I, I, I didn't hear you. Tell that to dog. Okay. Any other any other suggestions? How to deal with bullying someone's picking on you. Yeah. Okay. So don't listen to him. <laughs> so that's what you don't want to do. That's what you don't want to do. Yes. That was not right. What? You would ignore them. Okay. Alright. So I just want to say something. A person who is bullying you or acting up, you know those rude kids, they're usually being bullied at home. They have, yes. That means they have they have a situation at home that's really making them unhappy. You heard that before, right? And what they do is they take it out on you. You know why they take it out on you? This is this is really enlightening. They take it out on you because you remind them of themselves. That's right. So, a good approach, you know what a good approach would be? And I know this sounds weird, but instead of trying to fight them, I think it's better if you go, listen, I know what you're going through. That would, listen, yes, but at least it would stop them, right? They would never think you'd say that. Say, listen, you know, if you want to talk about it, I understand what you're going through, I know someone that can help. Try that approach, because guess what? If you start fighting them, it's just going to escalate. I think that's the best situation. Same thing applies at home. If you're having problems at home, you know, if someone's uh, mistreating you, or if you're having a situation where you know, you're not being treated well, I think the best way to approach it is to try to disarm the person. And that means it's called uh, pattern interrupt. That means if someone is, let's say, I don't know, there are a lot of parents that are angry and they hit their kids for no reason. So, or they think they do, but it's a little bit excessive. So you might want to approach the parent and say, Mom, I, you know what, tell me what's going on you're having a bad day, try a different approach. I know this is hard for you because you are taught not to talk to your parents, but really try to communicate with them. You know, moms and dads need love too. Try to approach them. The old school mentality is like, don't talk to your parents. Okay, that's the worst thing you could do. Talk to them, communicate with them, say to your mom, mom, it's okay, you know, I love you. Let me give you a hug. Okay, go ahead. Keep being me. But you know what I'm saying, right? Try to disarm the situation. Try a different approach. You can even try something like, when they're hitting you, you can go, wait, um, did you get laundry stuff? I have to do laundry tomorrow. Trust me, that will throw them off. <laughs> Change the subject like, did you get laundry soap? I have to do laundry tomorrow. And, you know, in the middle of the argument, if you throw something in, it's called a pattern interrupt. And they'll stop that thing and they'll like, oh yeah, yeah, I've got to get along yourself. And they'll stop. No, they won't. No, they won't. Trust me, a lot of the times it'll change the topic. Alright? So there was there was one one girl who was being abused at home. That's right. A lot of this happens. And I told her, whenever the abuser comes to you, start talking. Just say things like, Oh, did you take the garbage out today? Did you? So she started talking the whole time, and guess what? It stopped. The perpetrator got so turned off that they stopped abusing the child. So this stuff works. Okay? So try a different method. Try, as I said, this information is mind-blowing. So try to change your thinking. Try it in a word. I believe that all problems have a solution. All problems have a solution. You just have to have a clear intention to finding the solution. You understand what I'm saying? You have to clearly 
think I'm going to find a solution, and you will. All right? All right, so here, let me give you some facts. Learn to distinguish between fact and fiction. Reality and virtual reality. Many kids can't tell the difference. Video games, mass media are messing with your mind and changing your brain chemistry. Video games are not real life. Guess what? If you shoot someone in real life, you can't hit the reset button and they come back. All right? So control your anger. Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, they're not real. Don't waste your time on social media because guess what? Those one million Facebook friends that you have, they're not going to come and help you when you're sick. They're not going to come and visit you in the hospital. They'll send you emo emoji, like, yeah. So, stop wasting your time with social media. Try to communicate with people. Try to talk to your peers. Communicate with them. Stop texting so much. Say hello. Now, cyberbullying. How many of you knew about cyberbullying? Right? All right. Cyberbullying is very harmful. There was a there was a girl who got bullied online, and someone left a comment and said, "You're worthless. You should kill yourself." Guess what? She did it. Please be careful of what you say because guess what? It does make an impact. And it hurts. You with me? Don't leave any nasty comments. Don't make comments because words are like swords. They touch you. Now, The most important thing you'll learn here today is that if you change the way you think and you move to a positive mindset, that means if someone tells you that you'll never amount to anything or that you're worthless, you need to program yourself and say, you know what, I am worthless. I can do anything I want. Use that mindset to change the way you think. Now, how many of you think that smoking weed is good for you? Nope. <laughs> They're being honest. It's okay. It's okay. All right. I think it's the They're being honest. Okay, thank you. Now, the truth is that smoking weed kills cells in your brain and they make you, you know, now how many of you would like to send your brother or sister to a swimming pool where the lifeguard is high? What? No. Why? You said it was safe. You said it's safe. It's good for you. I said it's better than, better than uh, cigarettes. No, it's not. No. No, it's not. Yes. Smoking weed is worse than smoking cigarettes. What it does is changes your state of mind. That means your alertness changes. That means your reaction time changes. If the subway train driver was smoking weed and high, would you really get on that train? Well, trust me. This is dangerous stuff. Stay away from it. Vaping. Give me a second. Vaping is another very dangerous trend. Guess what? It causes heart disease, lung disease, and even cancer. Okay? So get your facts. I'm sorry? Yes. So the reason, okay, let me just give you a quick summary. The reason why people smoke and drink and even do vaping, you know why? To escape their problems. Thank you. Say again. 
They do it to escape their problems. So guess what? You have to learn to be fearless. These problems are just an experience. So listen to this. Whatever troubles you're having in life, think of it like this. It's a learning experience. That's all. Use that approach and your life will change. Can you turn that on? Watch this video. This is me. Guess what? If you change your mindset, you can walk on fire. Fire. All right. Guys, just watch this for two seconds, please. You can walk on fire. I walked on fire. Good luck in your life. Love you guys. Take care.